sunny day in San Diego. I am here mostly to visit with my mother. I drove down yesterday and I spent some good time with her. She's actually doing a little better in terms of they've finally gotten a lot of the pain management under control. They've got her in a more comfortable bed. We still don't really know how her infection and wound are doing. That's just a waiting game, but at least her level of comfort has increased and I'm really happy about that. This weekend also happens to be the church plant launch of Collective San Diego. A couple of my friends are uh, starting it and doing it and I'm here for their first service. So I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna visit with my mom some more and then I'm driving up to where my goddaughter uh, Brie, or as you know her shish kebab is and she's got a singing recital I had a thought if shish kebab starts her own vlogging channel it could be it should be called shish kevlog no yes is that too much of a dad joke California where do I start heavy breathing and heavy heart this is the first church I've seen that hands out earplugs before you go into the service. Extremely this, loud. <laughs> this is Sarah. This is my friend Jared's wife. Hi. I long to see you when the day is done. I want to rest and lay in your sun. This is my friend Jared. Um, how long have you known each other now? Uh, like 10 years? Ten years Something yes. like that. I heard that, you, including like volunteers and staff, you guys had about 80 people today. And for a first Sunday for a church, 80 is pretty good. We're all about loving Jesus and loving others and building a great community with, with one another. That's really what the goal of the church is going to be. We're meeting at a middle school, and so our goal is to help this middle school, help them out, and in turn just reach out into the community from here and see what God does. We're excited. It's going to be amazing. My church in, in L.A., they've grown so large that at a certain point they were looking to get a new building. And they actually stayed there because the school wanted them to stay because they actually do so much for the school. Having a church there is a net positive. We had a great relationship with Tab, and we're going to keep on building on that. The projects around the school help them out. And hopefully, you know, maybe sometime they'll bring me down to speak. Yes. That's one stop down today. I'm really glad that my new camera is coming in in just about a week or so because the app I use to film my vlog with my phone changed the software and I can't control the selfie camera like I used to be able to. California in my mind There is no one of your kind Before I visit my mom, I do need to make a quick stop to get some food in my belly. Right nearby, there's a pot pie place called Pop Pie. I saw it on the map the other day resisted it because of how unhealthy they usually are, even though they are extremely delicious. But I'm gonna check them out today and see what they got. We should have lived a life together in your warm and sun. So what I ordered was the green hog and cheese. They've got several different savory pot pies here, including a classic chicken pot pie. This one is a little different than I've ever had. It's got pork shoulder, and then it also has a whole bunch of green chili sauce, and apparently a murderous amount of cheese. That's what I was told, a murderous amount of cheese. We should have loved each other, baby. So what's the verdict? I liked it. It didn't feel as heavy as a normal pot pie since it was using green chili sauce instead of a regular gravy. And there was also a lot of meat in it, a lot of pork. Honestly, it tasted like I was having pork verde wrapped up in a pastry in a bowl and that I really liked. And the pastry wasn't too thick, wasn't too heavy either. It really it was really good. I liked it. So, pop pie, I give you a thumbs up. If you're in the area, check it out. I know they've got a bunch of other types of things there, and their mango iced tea is, is pretty good as well. All right, time to visit my mom. It's in the air, can't you feel that good times are coming on? All right, bye, Mom. Bye. See you later. 
that was a uh, that was a good visit. My aunt was here as well, and I had an opportunity to have a conversation with both of them. And now I'm back out into the sun. That's why I'm squinting. Now I've got to hit the road, head up, and see my uh, goddaughter, and see her uh, sing, or hear her sing. Whatever, one of the two. Thus begins the shishka vlog. <laughs> This is your oh, first here. singing I recital, right? She's ready to kill it, right? I'm ready to kill myself. No, you're gonna do awesome. Goodbye. I just have your Man, my glasses are awesome. So, what are you gonna be singing? Titanium. Titanium. I don't think I know that song. Who sings it? Other than you. Sia. Oh. Are you singing solo or are you singing as a chorus? Solo. You want me to sing solo? No! Solo, you can't hear me? Yes. <laughs> How you feeling, Bree? Oh. Does she need to be nervous? No. 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 Wow, it looks like it's more light out here than it really is. Mm -hmm. That's because you have a camera. So how do you feel? I feel like my eyes are, blind, are getting blind. How do you feel about your singing recital? Oh, suckish. Why? It sucked. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sound like a dying horse. <laughs> you personally know what a dying horse sounds like? I don't yeah, think she my does. Mom. Yeah, it sounds like What? Me. What? <laughs> wow, it sounds like me. Wow, thanks, Bree. You're welcome. I swear, that girl, I do not know where she gets it from. Well, okay. Her mother, me, her grandfather. Oh, yeah. Yes! I'm vlogging without you! She's upset that I'm vlogging without her as she drives away! So what did I think? Um, well, this was a kid's music recital. There were different instruments though. Some kids were playing piano, some the guitar, some drums, a couple of saxophone. I took piano lessons when I was a kid. I did piano recitals. I wasn't that good, but I was learning and I was better than I did before, better than when I first started. Even though I don't play piano now, it was really good that I got that creativity in earlier. And so the fact that these kids are even interested in music and creative endeavors and arts, even if they don't end up pursuing it or don't end up actually being good at it, and a few of them were pretty talented tonight. It's still gonna be a net positive for them in their life. I celebrate creativity in general. So I celebrate all these kids tonight that were performing, getting up on a stage in front of people because that's gotta be the scariest thing. Every heartbeat just like a drum. I hear your rhythm, you feel so near. California, all senses clear. 